Epilum echinodermata. In this video, I will discuss the diagnostic features of phylum echinodermata. The word echinodermata is a Greek word. Echinus means spiny and derma means skin. So echinodermata means spiny skinned animals. The term echinodermata was coined by Jacob Klein in 1734 in reference to the sea urchins. I have drawn an oval shaped sea urchin and, uh, and the body is covered with spines. So all the echinoderms, their body is covered with spines. That is why they are known as spiny skinned animals. Other examples of echinodermata include sea stars, commonly known as starfishes, sea urchins, brittle star, sea cucumber, sea lilies, sea feathers, and sand dollars. Uh, now they are diagnostic features. First of all, habitat. Uh, all the echinoderms, they are exclusively marine. The word exclusively means that all the members, they are found in the seawater uh, or in the ocean. Uh, none of the member is found, on, is found in fresh water or on land. So all echinoderms are present either in the ocean or in the sea and they are free living some of them they are attached to some substratum and they are benthic benthic means they are bottom dwellers bottom dwellers they are found on the sea floor on the ocean bed second point is echinoderms are triploblastic uh, tri means three Triploblastic means that their body is developed from three germ layers, outer ectoderm, middle mesoderm, and inner endoderm. They are true coelomates, they have a true coelom, and their body is unsegmented. There are no segments or no division in their body. Uh, now, symmetry. Adults, they show radial symmetry. Radial symmetry means that the body can be cut into two equal halves by more than one plane. So adults echinoderms have radial symmetry and some have uh, pentamerous symmetry like brittle star and starfishes. Their body can be cut into, uh, uh, equal, into two equal parts by using five planes. Penta means five. So starfish or brittle star have pentamerous symmetry. On the other hand, they are larvae. The larva shows bilateral symmetry. It means the larva can be cut into two equal halves by only one plane. So the larva are uh, the larvae are uh, ciliated, free swimming, and they show bilateral symmetry. Next point is about organ system grade. They have well developed organ systems. The systems are well developed, especially digestive system and reproductive system. Next is about the shape of body. Echinoderms, they are, uh, some are spherical like uh, sea urchins, some are elongated like sea cucumbers and some have star shaped body like uh, starfishes and brittle stars. Next point is there is no cephalization in echinoderms. Cephalization means there is no head. The head is absent and the body is differentiated into two surfaces, oral and aboral. So what is an oral surface? The name oral surface is given due to the presence of opening called mouth. Oral surface is the lower surface of the uh, body which is also known as the ventral surface and this oral surface is towards the ocean floor through which the animal is crawling or creeping on the sea floor. So oral surface bears uh, mouth, uh, uh, it also bears tube feet or podia which are locomotory organs and it also has spines and uh, sense organs. While, while uh, aboral surface is the upper surface of the body, 
the dorsal surface of the body and it has an opening called anus. It also bears madreporite. Madreporite is the part of a uh, water vascular system and it also has dermal branchia. Dermal branchia are the respiratory organs. Next point is about endoskeleton. Echinoderms have an internal skeleton which is made of dermal calcareous ossicles with spines. Calcareous means uh, the ossicles they are made from uh, calcium salts. This uh, endoskeleton it is derived from mesoderm and this is the feature of caudates. So echinoderms they have some caudate features. The first one is their endoskeleton which is derived from mesoderm as in the caudates their endoskeleton like we have bones and cartilage it is derived from mesoderm. So echinoderms they have a caudate feature which is their endoskeleton. Next is deuterostomes. Echinoderms they are deuterostomes. So uh, what is the meaning of deuterostomes? Actually, uh, during embryonic development, an opening forms during blastulation, which is known as blastopore. And when this blastopore, it develops into anus. So such animals are known as deuterostomes. So echinoderms are deuterostomes and the caudates, they are also deuterostomes. So in case of echinoderms, uh, blastopore first develop into anus and mouth formation is secondary. So again, deuterostomes is a caudate feature of echinoderms. Next point is a water vascular system, uh, which is also known as ambulatory system. Water vascular system is a unique feature, or we can say an outstanding feature of echinoderms. It means this system is present only in echinoderms. No other animal group has this feature, this system. So water vascular system is also known as ambulatory system. It is present only in echinoderms and it is derived from coelom. This system includes tube feet or podia which helps in locomotion and food capturing. Besides this, through this system, circulation of nutri nutrients, gaseous exchange and waste elimination also takes place. Next is digestive system. The digestive system of echinoderms is well developed. It is complete. Complete means the digestive system has two openings. The alimentary canal has two openings. One is mouth and the other one is anus. So alimentary canal is well developed, it is complete. It may be a straight or coiled tube. The alimentary canal extends from mouth on oral surface to the anus on aboral surface. Next is about a respiratory system. Respiration in echinoderms occur through different organs. Uh, for example, it may occur through dermal branchia, which are also known as papula, and these are present in starfishes. Second is genital bursa. These organs are present in brittle star. And next is peristomal gills. Peristomal gills are the respiratory organs found in sea urchin, and in sea cucumbers, there are cloacal respiratory trees. So a number of uh, uh, different respiratory organs are present in echinoderms through which a gaseous exchange takes place. Next is about circulatory system or uh, blood vascular system. Circulatory system in echinoderms is also known as hemal system. It is uh, poorly developed and uh, it is of open type. In circulatory system, the heart is absent and there is no respiratory pigment. 
सो सर्कुलेशन ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट्स इट मोस्टली टेक्स प्लेस थ्रू वाटर वेस्कुलर सिस्टम नेक्स्ट इज एस्क्रिटरी सिस्टम इन केस ऑफ एस्क्रिटरी सिस्टम द एस्क्रिटरी ऑर्गन्स दे आर एबसेंट एंड एज दे आर लिविंग इन द सी वाटर सो दे एस्क्रीट अमोनिया द इकानोडम्स आर अमोनोटेलिक देयर नाइट्रोजीनस वेस्ट मटेरियल इज अमोनिया एंड द वेस्ट एलिमिनेशन अगेन इट टेक्स प्लेस थ्रू वाटर वेस्कुलर सिस्टम नाउ कमिंग टूवर्ड्स द नर्वस सिस्टम द नर्वस सिस्टम इज सिंपल ब्रेन इज एबसेंट इन इकानोडम्स द नर्वस सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ सर्कल सर्कम औरल रिंग्स एंड रेडियल नर्व कॉर्ड्स द सेंस ऑर्गन्स अगेन दे आर पुअरली डिवेलप्ड नेक्स्ट इज रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ इकानोडम्स इज वेल डिवेलप्ड एंड दे आर यूनिसेक्चुअल मोस्ट ऑफ दैम दे शो सेक्चुअल रिप्रोडक्शन दे आर यूनिसेक्चुअल सेक्सेज आर सेपरेट एंड फर्टिलाइजेशन ऑफ गेमीट्स इट इज एक्सटर्नल इट मीन्स डैट इट अकर्स इन द ओशन वाटर एंड डिवेलपमेंट इज इनडायरेक्ट वेन वी से डिवेलपमेंट इज इनडायरेक्ट इट मीन्स डैट देर इज अ लार्वल स्टेज एंड द लार्वा ऑफ इकानोडर्म्स इट इज सिलियटेड फ्री स्विमिंग एंड इट शोज bilateral bilateral symmetry in case of echinoderms a number of different types of larvae are present and these larvae they undergo metamorphosis into radially symmetrical adults the larvae they change into radially symmetrical adults for example bipinaria it is the larva of starfish Ophiopleutes it is the larva of brittle star Doliolaria it is found in feather star and Echinopleutes it is the larva of sea urchin so in case of echinoderms reproductive system is well developed and there are a number of different types of larvae and these larvae they change into radially symmetrical adults through metamorphosis next point is autotomy and regeneration autotomy means that the capacity to cut its own part echinoderms have a remarkable power of autotomy and regeneration autotomy means that the capacity to cut off one's own body part which then gets regenerated regeneration means that re means again generation means formation the body part which is cut which is removed it then forms again for example starfish in case of starfish when it is uh, uh, attacked by some predator or uh, in case of defense uh, it cuts off its own one of its own arm and uh, it runs away while the cut arm it uh, uh, keeps wiggling or and uh, the cut arm keeps moving and this cut arm draws the attention of the predator while the uh, starfish runs away and then the part uh, the arm which is cut off it is then again formed so this is this ability is known as autotomy and regeneration a more advanced feature is eviscidation e vesiration occurs in uh, sea cucumber e means remove and viscera means the soft organs which are present in the abdominal cavity for example stomach intestine etc so in case of defense or when sea cucumber is disturbed it throws out uh, its stomach or a part of its intestine through its head in defense and then the viscera which are lost from the body they are then again regenerated so e vesiri e ves uh, e visceration e visceration is present only in sea cucumber and it is even more advanced than autotomy so it was all about 
uh, the features of echinoderms thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel